المهم الاردن وتونس يعاونوا بعضهم يعني first of all i think these are two countries which are really similar in terms of mentality and الشعب يعني كثير شباب بعضهم يعني توانسا والاردن انا تونسي طبعا اصل تونسي مولود في المانيا وخدمت في الطيران عندي 30 سنه في الطيران I started my career in Lufthansa, German Airlines, where I spent 10 years. Uh, I did two startup airlines. Um, one was uh, German Wings or Euro Wings, one was Saudi Gulf Airlines. And I worked in various companies in Europe, as well in the Gulf, as a chief commercial officer for, for Gulf Air. So I'm an aviation enthusiast and I like to set up airlines, to restructure airlines, and to grow airlines into the right direction. So, This is my background. In Royal Jordanian, we have a clear vision and a clear target. Uh, we want to grow in the next five years from 23 aircraft to 43 aircraft. From 3.1 million passengers we achieved in 2019 to 7.2 million passengers by 2028. Uh, how to get there is based on two strategic pillars. Number one, we will focus on tourism into Jordan. That's, that's a key change in our model, where tourism is becoming a key driver. The strategic pillar number two is we want to move Royal Jordanian Airline from being the national carrier of Jordan to being the carrier of choice for the entire Levant. And the Levant is a region today of around 120 million where you have Iraq, you have Syria, you have Lebanon, you have Palestine, uh, parts of Greece, uh, Cyprus. So these areas we want to serve now proactively for the people there to be the carrier of choice, connecting the Levant with Europe, with the US and Canada and with the region itself. And based on that, our model will be combined with tourism and connecting traffic in order to achieve the critical size which is needed to, to be successful. Tayaran, our competition is a key element which you always have to observe. And it's very important that if you set up a model for an airline, that you really define um, the speciality which you want to focus. And um, being the tourism airline for Jordan is something which nobody can compete with us because we fly non stop from Amman to Europe, Netherlands. This year I opened six new destinations in Europe like for example Lyon, Milan, uh, Stockholm, Brussels, Düsseldorf. And this shows that with non-stop operation we want to attract tourists to come there. Furthermore, on the same flights we will have people connecting from Germany or from Sweden via Amman to Iraq, to Lebanon um, uh, or even doing Umrah in, in Saudi Arabia. So the model is very specific and it's very important to differentiate yourself from competition. And uh, that's why I'm very optimistic that, that we can uh, succeed. We are very proud to be since 10 years uh, a One World member. Uh, together with our other partner airlines, we cover over 1,000 destinations on all continents globally. And uh, One World is um, a strong alliance and allows our customer seamless connectivity throughout the entire world. So, especially from the US with our partner American Airlines, um, we are um, serving a lot of traffic uh, from the US or Canada to the Levant and to the Gulf as well, as well to North Africa through Amman. So One World is, is a clear advantage for us. طبعا المهم الاردن وتونس يعاونوا بعضهم يعني first of all i think these are two countries which are really similar in terms of mentality and الشعب يعني كثير شباب بعضهم يعني التوانسه والاردنيين وعندنا يعني السياحه من الاردن لتونس ماذا بينا نكونوا السياحه ويعني so that we explain Tunis to the Jordanians. Uh, 
وقت الحال عندنا ابو بري 300000 جوردانيانز هو جو تو تركي افري يير رايت وي اونلي هاف ا فيو ثاوزند نوت ماتش سينجل ديجيت جوردانيانز هو جو تو تونيزيا So my aim in the next 12 months is to try to bring 15 to 20,000 Jordanians to Tunis because I strongly believe that uh, Tunisia has the right product. We speak the same language, uh, the same mentality and uh, I'm sure that the Jordanians will love uh, Tunisia and the variety which we have to offer in Tunisia, be it the sea and the beach, be it the culture, Carthage or, or other heritage site. Uh, be it uh, Tabarka, which has beautiful nature. And these things are unknown today in Jordan. So we are here today with the top nine tour operators in Jordan. And together with the Safara in Tunisia, in Urdan, with the tourism organization in Tunis, uh, we were able to organize a fantastic trip for the tour operators for five days uh, to get to know the country. And um, I'm sure that this will benefit both countries at the end. As well, we want to show Jordan to the Tunisians. I'm sure that uh, Jordan is not maybe known so well in Tunisia. And uh, as Malakia, as RJ, I will do everything to give the flexibility for the travelers and for the two operators to develop this market without risk. And um, this is why I'm personally here. And Tunis. And I'm very committed to this and I'm sure this will result in a positive impact for both countries.